Catherine. I hope you feel better. Um, so anyway, um, I really like your animals. Um, they came out really well. Um, plus they're really cute. Um, so the only, the only problem, um, this form here, I know what it is because I know this, um, kind of symbol or this can clip art blue, blue thing. Um, it's just really not discernible what it is. It looks like a big clump of texture. And this also is not discernible what it is. Um, these look like birds. Um, so, um, oh, bats. Okay. I see. Um, you might want to actually try to draw a little bat and then you, I mean if you did that you would would only have to like do a couple of them so because they kind of look like birds but if you do like an actual you know kind of an iconic looking bat I think it would come across more um, more clearer this doesn't really read cave so you just might want to do a little research online if you just look up bat cave you know like in Google you know that's what I do then you can kind of get an idea and you can always trace it if you want so even just looking at a few, um, you know, a few of these Google, you know, I just did a Google image search. I mean, that's way too much detail, but I mean, you could probably find a, you know, there's a, a less complicated one. You know, something even like this, um, you know, would, would read. Um, you know, I would stay away from the gradient meshes. Um, they don't really add anything. Um, I mean, I think that they're great to practice, but at this point, since the assignments do really soon I wouldn't I wouldn't mess with them um, and I would really deal with try to figure out something else with this um, so now what you need to do is really figure out how to create unity um, and I'm seeing well I'm not sure what this is maybe a zoo but then again I'm seeing one two only three um, um, attractions so you need to to add another one as well but um, 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 I'd suggest just studying some of these um, posters I posted and just kind of try to figure out um, what's unifying them. Like, why are they looking like part of, you know, all part of the same um, design? And this one is repeating. Um, well, notice how it's layered with the big um, objects in the front because um, if something's large, it appears closer. And then they get smaller as it goes farther. So this is a good way to create create depth. Um, and again, the sky is pretty well developed. Again, this is a good place for a gradient is in the sky because, you know, the, it's always going to be lighter down there. But just study some of these and really look at, you know, they're all pretty simple color. Um, you know, and, you know, the texture unifies this, the color unifies this. Um, also, this one's very simple, really. But notice a little bit of clouds, some color. Notice the overlap and the repetition of forms and color. Repetition of forms and color really works. And again, when you get your city name, if you're going to put anything else, make it smaller. And, you know, there's the tagline. Um, so, again, kind of a kind of a lot for you to do. Um, and I, again, I posted a bunch of resources up here, um, so you might want to have a look look at them. Um, you know, they're really easy, like, you know, how to create something in the sky, um, you know. Um, you know, there's some birds, too, and I would look at, I would definitely look at how to draw bats. Um, you know, online has everything. Um, you know, here's another Twitter, the Twitter clouds. Um, you know, this is a really excellent um, tutorial on um, using the blend tool. And again, night sky, you know, create a sun. You know, there's just so many different tutorials. So, um, you know, I would just I would just make sure that the bats look like bats. And again, um, you're off to a good start making some smaller, but really emphasize the depth of these and maybe have some out over here so they're not too clumped. So, you know, if you get more work done on this and you want me to look at it again, um, you know, feel free to email me. But, um, you know, and really stay away from these canned objects. It just, um, you know, not much credit is given for not drawing it yourself. So I would just suggest more use of the pen tool and just, um, you know, drawing these out without the meshes and so on. Okay, so anyway, let me know if this helps. Um, uh, yeah, just grab me later tonight or whatever if you want want some more feedback. I might be doing a feedback session in WebEx later tonight or tomorrow if you're interested. Um, I'll probably send an email out. Um, okay.